Here's a new one, sir. Find out his name and next of kin. I'll examine him tomorrow. May I have a word? Of course, Father. I see your lesson ended late. Again. Yes, Father. How can you expect boys to respect you if you cannot keep good time? I do not know. Remember order in all things. Yes, Father. Excuse me, Herr Schubert? Yes. Forgive me. My name is Schober. Franz von Schober. I am a great admirer of your music. You are mistaken. It is my son here who writes music. When his duties allow. Oh, well then, um, this is for you. It's a poem. I wrote it myself. I thought you might set it to music. For a fee, of course. Composition is my son's hobby. Teaching is his vocation. Teaching? <laughs> Surely not. I assure you it is so. Is it not? Is there something wrong? <coughs> Some discoloration on the surface of the scalp. Spots of a brownish, reddish hue. One, two, three lesions, all of them infected. A rash is discernible over the upper torso. You're a composer, I understand. Yes. You've been keeping questionable company. Whenever I can. Not anymore. This is my hospital and you're in my care now. The patient's head will need shaving. After that, we can start the mercury treatment. Fasten his gown. In any event, the good Lord seems to have smiled on you in at least one respect. It appears you have a benefactor. Who? Uh, an anonymous benefactor. The patient will be moved to a private room. I'm sure you'll find your new surroundings more congenial. Welcome to my home. 
Consider it yours. I can't stay long. I'm a working man, I'm afraid. Outside this room, our fellow citizens go about their cosy little lives like clockwork mice. We've become a nation of timekeepers. But here, time stops. And the senses hold dominion. My father went to prove. Oh, your father. Well, he's a sensible man. Order and discipline. Without them, we're lost. Oh, God, all these rules, they're everywhere. I'm suffocating. <laughs> oh, do I shock you? Mm -hmm. Well, let me say this. You shock me. Your decorum is an affront to nature. If it weren't for what I've heard, I'd give up on you now. I think I should leave. I know you. Perhaps better than you know yourself. Perfect. It's yours. You are late. I'm leaving.
father. Father? In einem Bächlein helle, das schoss in froher Eile, die launische Forelle vorüber wie ein Pfeil. Ich stand an dem Gestar und sah im süßer Ruh des munten Fischleins Bade in klaren Bächlein zu. Des munten Fischleins Bade im klaren Bächlein zu. Ein Fischer mit der Rute wohl an dem Ufer stand und saß mit kaltem Blute, wie sich das Fischlein wand. So lang dem Wasser helle, so dacht ich nicht gebricht, so fängt er die Forelle mit seiner Angel nicht. So fängt er die Forelle mit seiner Angel nicht. Doch endlich war dem Diebe die Zeit zu lang. Er macht das Bächlein tückisch trübe und eh ich es gemacht, so zuckte seine Rute, das Fischlein, das Fischlein zappelt dran. Und ich mit regem Blute sah die Betrogene an. Und ich mit regem Blute sah die Betrogene an. What's happening to me? You have syphilis. Are you sure? You're paying for your past transgressions. Untie his gun. The mark of this affliction will never leave you. But if you do as I say, there is hope. You must abide by our rules. I'm not very good with rules. That is self-evident. Let's hope you have time to learn.
a gift from your benefactor. You will restrict your playing to the following hours, between 10 and 12 in the morning and from 3 till 5 in the afternoon. I hope that's clear. I like to play at night. N not anymore. Quarter to twelve. I think my watch is slow. You know what they say about the French disease? No. First it makes you sore, then it makes you stink. And finally, it makes you mad. And at what stage are you? your music and my words, Alphonse and Estrella will make us the toast of Vienna. Do you really think it's ready? It's perfect. And now, you shall have your reward. Take a good look. Excellent choice. The very one I'd have chosen myself. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, no. Don't apologize. 
I never do. Time for your treatment. Now, you're not going to like this, but... Doctor's orders. What are you doing to me? We're making you better. What's that? A solution of mercury. It will kill the infection and purify your system. I mean that. This will hurt. You can't do this to me. <laughs> 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 Ein Augenblick, die Rache wird. Alfonso und Estrella. Libretto by Franz von Schober, music composed by Franz Schubert. Something of a departure for you, is it not, Herr von Schober? The last time we met, I recall you were set on landscape painting. An artist must follow his muse wherever she may lead. Indeed. Well, what do you think? Your songs are among the finest I've heard. Your work is an inspiration. So you will help us? Give me time. There's a difference between the salon and the stage. However, I believe I can offer you some assistance. I may speak frankly, you should choose your friends wisely. I need all the help I can get. You need real friends. People who can guide you on the right path. Oh, I see. I know such people. They're a good family, cultured, patrons of the arts. And they require a music tutor for their daughter. I'm a composer, not a teacher. Your duties will allow ample time for composition. You must accept. Do you think so? Certainly. The rest will do you good. And while you're away, Maestro Fogel and I make the necessary arrangements to bring our opera to the public's attention. Um, thank you. Excuse me. I must not miss my entrance.
Time's up. My dear Shoba, I am settled at my patron's country estate. In other words, I am in exile. Herr Vogel has lost no time in introducing me to my pupil, Caroline, and her mother, the Countess. They seem quite agreeable, but the truth is I miss Vienna, and I miss you. How could you encourage me to accept Herr Vogel's invitation when he keeps us apart? I hope you're right. news of our opera. I long to come home. Wait. Listen to the silence. My dear friend, you once told me to feel before I think. Now I understand what you mean. I have found my muse. I am the teacher and she the student, and yet it is she who inspires me. I cannot find words to describe her, so I must do so in the only way I know how. I wish you could meet her. To be frank, and I would tell no one this but you, I fear she is beyond my grasp. I need your help now more than ever. Why have I heard nothing from you? your hand over mine. It's beautiful. I wrote it for you. You are very kind. No one has ever dedicated anything to me before. Thank you. Everything I write is dedicated to you.
You surprised me. I'm sorry. And you're late. I'm afraid I usually am. I made good use of my time. I've been practicing. You play well. High praise from you. Won't you sit next to me? Today I think you should play and I should listen. As you like. Are you feeling unwell? Quite well, thank you. Shall we begin? I don't think we have much time. Dear Countess, it is with the deepest regret that I must return to Vienna. I would like to thank you for your kindness and generosity during my time here. And I would be grateful if you would pass my deepest respects to your daughter. In her company, I found... The prodigal son returns. I've been looking for you. Well, you've found me. So, <clears throat> a toast. Mm. Forgive me, please. Mm. Help yourself. <laughs> what about our opera? Our opera? Vogel turned it down. I said the music was quite good, but the libretto stinks. <laughs> <laughs> what will we do? Well, I'm going to Breslau. I have a friend in the theatre. So from now on, it's the actor's life for me. And our work? Work? It's not a word I wish to become familiar with. I'll leave that to you. You can't leave me.
what a waste. What did you say? I thought it might help. Oh. So you are my benefactor. Who did you expect? <laughs> no one's heard from him. He wanted to be an actor. That at least should come naturally to him. He was the only one who ever saw me as I truly am. How can you say that? He destroyed you! No. No. He set me free.